pitch, or frequency, and volume, also known as amplitude, are two of the main qualities of a sound. Pitch describes how fast the voltage inside your synthesizer is oscillating between positive and negative values. You can see it in the green trace here. That eventually translates to how fast your speaker cone is moving towards you or away from you, which vibrates the air and in turn your eardrums. As I increase the frequency on this oscillator, you'll hear it go higher in pitch, and you'll also notice that the spacing between the individual waves got closer, indicating that it's oscillating at a faster rate. As I turn the frequency down, you'll hear the pitch go down, and you'll notice that the spacing between the waves gets larger. You can control pitch or frequency from front panel controls, or by using voltage. The blue line on this display indicates what voltage is going into the oscillator on this synthesizer. As I play a lower note, you see the blue line is dropped because a lower voltage is being sent to the oscillator, and the result is a lower pitch. I play a higher note, the blue voltage line goes up, and the pitch goes up as well. I'll go back to my center pitch. Volume describes how strong those oscillations are. As I turn down the volume control, you'll see that the green wave on the display gets lower in amplitude, and the sound gets softer in your ears. I'll turn it back up. Again, in addition to turning a knob, you can use voltage in a synthesizer to control that loudness or amplitude. I'm going to change my voltage control amplifier to use an envelope generator, so that when I play a note, it will automatically control how the loudness of that sound changes over time. And of course, I can combine different pitches with those changes in volume to articulate different notes.